I'm going to the UK. I'm going to the UK. I'm... See, England, I'm coming. I'm... I got to that pretty late at night. See, my face is all swollen up. Like, my eyes is red. So we we got to Abuja around ten o'clock or so, and I got to my destination probably around eleven. So it was stressful. It was really stressful. So I couldn't even film it or anything. I couldn't even film at all. It's not easy road trip. Like we stayed in Lokoja for over hours. Guys, that place is that place is something else. I think they need serious intervention. Like seriously, the whole place is flooded. You can see houses deep inside the water. The only thing you might be seeing is their roof or something. It's really it's really disturbing. Like these people would be always concerned when it's raining season. But that being said, today is um is it okay? monday tuesday when it is three days to my travel and today the only thing i want to do is just make my hair so, i mean i'm currently in abuja and i want to get a place where they can do a very good not less braid for me because as you can see i don't have hair so i want somebody that would manage my hair very well for me and still give me something beautiful you get i have a small score i don't have full hair so Whoever is going to make this hair has to just be magic. This girl has to be snatched. Yeah. So that is it. I'm going to be going out to make my hair today and then see what I can get because we've not I've not even made like I've not weighed my bag. So guys, I'm ready. I'm heading out now to the salon. So this is how I'm looking. Mm. So this is how I'm looking. I don't have a mirror to show you guys. So after the salon, um I'll try and see if I can get any other thing probably the weighing skill to weigh my bag and then some stuff like i said but first of all this morning i want to just get my hair done because i know it takes hours and minutes and hours to to finish a not less braid so i'm just going to be doing that this morning so come along with me trying to parboil my meat and then make the stew first before any other thing but at the same time i just want to try out to see my hair how is it looking is the not nothing is the not less nothing thank you so guys um it's one day to my travel day and then I just realized that it's becoming real like everything is becoming real but then i'm nervous i don't know if i'm nervous i don't know if i'm excited I, I don't know it's just mixed feelings for me because it's becoming it's starting to become real but then i'm just going to live in the moment and then hopefully it's going to be a smooth journey for me tomorrow so i'm 
just going to do what I have to do today, get ready. I couldn't get this kill yesterday, so I think I was just already way when I was doing the way bit to GIG, I already weighed my bag. My bag, so I already know the, the way, like I have an estimate of what it weighs. But my full stuff is the, the problem now because I don't I did not measure it. I came with it um myself. So I don't know the weight of my food stuff, but then whatever they told me if it's, if, it's, if it's overweight, if it requires me pain, fine, because I'm not leaving anything. I've left so much already, I'm not leaving anything. My meat is gone. My passport is here in Abuja because I chose um, I chose um, delivery in, um, in Abuja because I know if I'm um, to say okay let's let them send it let DHL send it down to Akwaibo where I am it's going to take days and I know I was going to leave Akwaibo maybe before like immediately after I did my biometric so I chose Abuja so the passport the, the my friend that is with my passport just brought it so i'm going to be opening it i'm going to be opening it with you guys much later after i finish cooking so just stay tuned stay tuned so since it's one day to my travel i got the jacket i, I got we got jackets yesterday we got that winter jacket yesterday but I, I didn't go i didn't go with my friends i had to like let them go by themselves but they already know what i want i didn't go i didn't go because i was making my hair but they bought like the perfect stuff so i'm going to be showing you guys what the jacket looks like but if i cannot you're going to see it in my body at the airport so that's yeah, just it basically um the only thing remaining is actually some personal stuff which i'm going to be getting today i got pounds yesterday i just got 500 pounds yesterday i heard it's cheaper there in the uk yeah, I heard it's cheaper, so I'm not going to be buying the whole 3,000 pounds that I need now. I'm going to wait till we get to the UK. So that's just it. That's just it. Hey. It looks like this is the last yummiest food I'm going to be eating before I leave Nigeria. So I have to take my time to cook it, man. So this is my stew and then this is my rice you guys come and eat though come and eat come and eat so i said let me enjoy myself these two days like this i'll be this one day like this because we don't know how one day to talk when we reach uk but we're going to eat well anyway so my friend um received my passport so she was the one that did the opening and everything but and the passport has been with her since so i'm just receiving it i'm just receiving it from her and i'm just going to see what it looks like because she already did open it so i'm just going to like for the first time personally see what it looks like and then see what it looks like okay so this is what tls contact visa application center okay 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 your girl is going to the uk your girl is going to the uk so i did my biometrics in abuja yeah I, I did my biometrics in abuja i thought it was easy for me rather than going to lagos because i heard lagos was crowded and everything so i decided to go to abuja and use abuja tls and then so this is what this baby looks like this is what it looks like guys guys i'm so nervous because this thing is is it's smelling money like it's smelling money like it's it's been how many months of a roller coaster guys so let's see what let's see what it looks like let's see 
Oh my god, guys! I'm going to the UK. I'm going to the UK. I'm... See England. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. So guys, this is what it looks like. What did they even say? They say vignettes. I be vignettes. I be vignettes. Look, see them pretty. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just excited. In fact, I think my sickness is actually weighing me down. I should be more excited than this, but I'm I'm grateful to God. Really. I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful to God. This is like a dream come true. I'm so happy, I'm so happy that I'm finally pursuing my dreams and then it's taking to me, it's taking me to where I actually want to be. I'm even like, I'm, I'm emotional because it's not been easy, guys. <clears throat> if you've been through this route, you know it's not easy from your tuberculosis to get far from your getting admission to um tuberculosis to biometrics to prove a fund to guys it's a roller coaster like it's up and down it's a process you have to be patient with like i think in this whole journey the most the most the most difficult process that you know even i didn't expect to be difficult was the proof of fund guys that's thing now they chop money now they chop now you go chop your money where we're not be even the school fees and so guys because i've been hearing a lot about how schools are so strict with their payments and everything they are they don't take their um tuition fees for like they don't joke with it like once you don't pay they're in trouble i decided to pay um my tuition fee i paid for the 250 percent when 50 percent on when you get the admission right and then 50 percent when you enroll so i made sure i made that payment knowing that it's just for me to just sort out the last payment which is going to be like next year so if you're coming to the uk as a student as an international student please endeavor like you see all those uh, is it 50 percent a bit 30 percent or is it? i don't know you know that's like the the first tuition fee you pay three thousand pounds i don't know something like that guys don't if you don't have a means of paying your school fees like if you have the plan of um like paying your school fees and working and you pay like a little low um, deposit guys it's going to be difficult trust me nobody is going to tell you that nobody is going to tell you that it is going to be difficult to pay that fee so i just advised myself i made sure i I looked for that money first before even going doing any other stuff. So try and pay your fifty percent complete. In fact, if you can even afford like the two fifty percent, you know, I for some like University of Sunderland or Sunderland University, whatever it is, you pay three like they have three fifty percent. You're going to be paying one on uh, when you get the admission. That's pre card before you get your cards, and then one on enrollment, one on them. Like after maybe a few months when you resumed or something like that, you pay that. Try and pay like two, so that you know you have just one payment remaining. But I am not. I'm just giving an advice because I I I, I believe it's going to be difficult to pay those kind that huge amount. You think it's going to be easy, but no, nah, I don't think it's going to be easy. So guys, this is what like we've just opened my visa. Your girl is going to the UK, UK, okay. So guys. So I'm currently waiting for my Uber guy. I'm even dressed. I'm fully dressed already. I don't know. This sunlight is messing with my video, but we are going to continue because we don't have time, okay? So I we are going. I'm going. To, I'm waiting for my Uber guy. He's currently on his way for us to be heading to the airport. So I have my. I'm going to be showing you guys my luggage. My I don't know. I think my luggage is going to be overweight, but anyhow, we'll do it. I'm not removing anything. I'm not removing anything. I've left a lot already, so I'm not I'm not even trying it. So guys, I'm waiting for my Uber guys. Once he once he's here, excuse me, we head to the airport, and that's just it. My flight is quite late at night, so they got no what I go to do for airport from five maybe six o'clock to to probably um eleven fifty five. God help me because i'm feeling sick i'm feverish and um i'm having a deck at the same time i just pray god gives me this complete healing yes 
I'm so grateful to God, guys. I'm so grateful. This journey is not easy. It's not. A, it's not. It's not an easy journey. It's not an easy journey. It's not a one cobalt thing. It's not a two cobalt thing. Like we are talking about millions here. So I'm just grateful to God, like for supplying all my needs. Like when I needed, like the moment I need something, like the moment I need money for a particular process. God just comes through. Like how he comes through, I don't know. But he just comes through for me with the finances. Guys, as a business person, there are some times that you know, you know in your heart that you don't make such amount of money in a short period of time. But because but since you're in this process, God is just doing this miracle and doing this miracle. You just, like I would wake up and I would see sales, I would see um all all that's flowing in. I'm like, God, is this like this is you telling me I'm with you on this journey? And I'm so grateful to God. I'm so grateful. Like you can go fake boss. And as many of you that are coming in or want to come, you're going to join me very, very soon. Say amen. Say amen. Yes, amen. So guys, let me get ready. I'll show you my fit, how I am looking. Okay, I'm not. I, I don't want to really dress serious, <clears throat> but I'm going to. Once in the starting, I'm going to avoid cold because me and cold. I know if you don't under AC, talk more of cold weather. So I'm going to wear yeah, my jacket. I, I wear, I'm going to like. I'm going to show you guys what I look like heading to the airport. I'll see you guys. Okay. So guys, these are my luggage this one and this one and that one i'm helping someone one of my friend i'm helping her bring um some stuff for she and her husband for these three bags and my hand luggage is my bag so we are good to go one two three yeah four okay <laughs> My penny. on getting to the airport you're going to see these guys they would help you um carry your bags from outside to inside the the um airport you probably pay them 500 naira to 1000 naira depending on how much you guys bargain so basically that's what i did because i couldn't carry the bag i couldn't push so i got them to take my bag inside the um airport and that was it i took it over from there so guys, I'm trying to go get my bag wrapped. That's what I'm doing. With my load, no one moving. What shall we do? 
so this process is just basically waiting for you to um weigh your bags so you have to stay on the queue this queue can take minutes it can take hours depending on um the amount of people in front of you and then the and how fast they're working so after weighing your bag i found out that my bag had extra bag like i had extra bags so i had to pay for it mind you this bag is for a friend that asked me to help him bring um bring their bag from nigeria to the uk so we paid extra 97 or 99 000 naira or there about something like that and that was all now this process is going to take a while it takes hours even because you have to wait for the queue you have to wait for your own time before they can attend to you but after that you proceed to wrapping your bags but because you're done with payment you're done with everything you want to do once they just tell you um you have an extra bag or extra luggage all you have to do is just ask them how much extra you're going to be paying and then you proceed to the location or area where they make payments so after i made my payments i came here to wrap my bags i think they charge one thousand naira each for one bag so i paid five thousand naira for five bags so that's that was it basically after wrapping i went ahead to check in now checking in is another waiting you have to wait for a few hours few minutes let me just use few minutes and you're, you're done so here i was just in a hurry i just wanted to be done with this process i was already tired guys i came around six o'clock but believe me before i was done it was almost 11 o'clock so leave your house very early whatever flight you have just make sure you're at the airport six hours before your flight so that you don't miss you don't get delayed or miss your flight so this is me just wrapping my bags and after here i proceeded to checking in so checking in is where they just get all the details give you your seat number and then you're done you proceed to your boarding gate and that's just it basically
to get smiley yeah. my body needs for London Metro I think you know of it and it's deep yet so it's been a long your luggage I'm, I'm currently sitting because i know that i won't go the last so i'm just waiting i'm going to watch for me i'm tired <clears throat> so we're going to vent you are really smooth you just ask few questions and then that was all just know the school you're going and then why you choose the school i just waste money do proof of fun i wasted the money but anyway it's fine because they did not ask for proof of fun, they just ask the school, why the school, um, how many school did, did I apply for? Anyways, welcome to Love M, London Love X, Amaka, Manoka. We are here to do exploits, we are here to do great things and make Mama proud. Friend. 
guys when i got to victoria couch i waited for four hours few minutes to board a bus going to sunderland now this bus was scheduled for 11 55 pm so that i would arrive at sunderland in the morning it was safer it was the best option for me so i couldn't film sorry but i was at the bus station for a few hours before um the boarding time so this is me leaving london to sunderland and we arrived early in the morning so it was just the best really so guys our bus just arrived um sunderland this morning around six something so if you're if you're coming if you're going to somewhere far i think you should look for a night bus that's a night bus something like this come going to your location in london if you're using london here too so i'm just arriving sunderland now and then i want to book a tag we're going to where i'm going to stay till i check in till i check in for my airbnb so guys this is me heading to the um apartment where i was going to stay for um few hours before checking in my airbnb i had to stay in this lady's place even though i did not know like i didn't know her from anywhere it was just from a friend but i stayed at her place for a few hours before checking in my airbnb because my airbnb was um scheduled to check in by 3 p.m so i stayed at her place and then that was it so i'll see you in the next vlog thank you for watching you know i love you please subscribe 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 turn on the post notification because there's going to be more juicy stuff coming in so i love you see ya